y'all i am at another bus training i have my road test tomorrow i feel ready for it i'm anxious because some of the things i feel like i don't really have them down but i think i'll be okay i'm a, you know when you're under pressure you just always be coming through it's like sometimes you need pressure for yourself to focus so yeah i will update you guys on how my test goes tomorrow and just give you some of the tips like learn some of my studying tips for the permit and yeah because this is an easy process it was so simple so quick but yeah Y'all, I did it. I passed my CDL class B school bus road test. So I'm about to be active on the road. <laughs> okay, we getting active on the road. But I just really wanted to go over really quickly. Like if you're someone that is thinking about getting your school bus and passenger CDLs, I'm gonna tell you really quick what you have to do. Cause this is super updated. This is in 2024. From what I've heard from like my trainers and stuff, they've changed it. It's changed from when they did it to now. So here's just an updated one for New Jersey um, from the written to the road test. So for the written, all you really have to do, it's like 125 to like basically take the written test. You have to, or get your permit, but you have to take the written test, which is general knowledge, the CDL general knowledge, which is 50 questions. Um, you have to get 40 right. So the moment you get 40 right, they'll kick you out and you're done. Or if you get 11 wrong, they'll kick you out and you're done. And you have to wait like seven days to take it over again. So you have to pass the general knowledge test. And if you pass it that day, then you can say, hey, can I take the school bus and the passenger test, which are another two tests. But those questions are only, those tests are only 20 questions. And you have to get like 15 or 16 right, I think. And then I think it might be 15. And then once you get 15 right, you're done. But if you get six wrong, they kick you out. Um, so that's what you first have to do is pay the 125 and then take your written test. Now, to be honest, with my studying for the written, I didn't read the book at all. There is a book you can go get, but I didn't open that book one time. Instead, I recommend using this website that someone told me about. Here's a website. It's a little cheat sheet for you. Um, just take these general there's like eight general knowledge uh test pre-tests on there and then there's like four school bus tests and then there's like four passenger bus tests just take those tests over and over and over again until you really like get them right or memorize them because they're basically the same exact questions that are on the dmb test like there might be like worded a little bit differently on the dmb test compared to the website but it's they're like damn near the same questions and that's all i did and I passed so then that was that and they send you all then they send you like your permit in the mail whatever then you have to do your hours usually depending on like uh, yeah it's like hours and then if you're with a, pro, a school who's doing it like they'll give you the hours so then I trained and um, we just trained and then I took my road test and so for the road test you basically do an inside safe start first so you have to know how to do the safe start and then they'll have you inspect the inside of the bus. You can just go around inspecting the inside of the bus. And then after that, they'll say, okay, now we're gonna go and inspect the outside of the bus. So then we just inspected the outside of the bus. I honestly only had to do the front. And then I started to do the driver's side and he said, stop. Cause honestly, I think if you just go into it saying confidently, like when I tell you, I was like, I was like, the clearance lights are the all same. They're not cracked, broken, stamens are missing. They're the proper color, amber, amber. My school bus sign is clean, clear. Like I was just flowing, like, you know, and I was saying it confident, even though I was really just, it was just memorization. <laughs> so if you just like go in there and you're confident, I feel like they won't make you do the whole thing. But if you're kind of in there, kind of like, uh, 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 then they might have you do it because they have a score sheet. So like, as long as you hit a certain, the, all the points by, going through everything then they might make you not go all the way around but my dude was actually really really cool too so i got lucky or god bless me in my road test because he was great he was so nice to me and like patient and he was really nice so then after that you go and do your four maneuvers so you roll around i try to draw them on here so we'll see okay so the first maneuver is you have your the bus you have to basically just ride forward and you have to stop the bumper in between the the dotted lines that's the first maneuver 
then the second maneuver is you're starting with the bumper in those two lines and you're just back we're back you're going backwards and you have to stop your front bumper in between the two lines that's the second maneuver then after that you have the offset right which i believe it's called this is where it kind of has changed a little bit because my pre my like instructors they told me how they had a parallel part you don't do that next is like the offset so you have your bumper in between the lines from the last maneuver so basically you have to go forward through the cones then you have to kind of do like a left go to the left and then bring the bus back through these like there's like a cone and then there's like a another cone or no not a cone like a dash I, it's hard to like but basically you just kind of go straight and then you go through and then you have to make sure you just don't like hit the cone that's on the outside or the inside or you stay in between these two something like that you probably can google it i mean youtube it of, of where they really show you how to do the on offset then after you do that the last maneuver is literally from that position that you're in okay, right up here you have to back up back through everything and then you have to end your bumper your back bumper has to be between these two lines so it's four maneuver on the road test it's so it's safe start and the safe start inside inspection then it's outside inspection and then you go do your four maneuvers and then you go onto the road so then we went onto the road and we just did a full circle um like i said like the it can be different because some of the instructor instructors might make you go to a, a railroad my instructor didn't like he did ask me like what do you do at a railroad so i had to like tell him but he we didn't go to one yeah i went onto the road and then we just did a circle and then that was it like when i tell you my instructor was a gift from god like he truly was because he was so lax and i've heard stories where some instructors can just be dicks so um yeah i was blessed but yeah that's it that's really it for the road test the road test was really really simple um honestly the written was really really simple as well like it really and oh and then when you then you after you do everything you take all your paperwork back inside and you have to pay like another 25 dollars to get like your new license i don't even know what i paid for but i had to pay 25 dollars um so that's it so in in all you pay like 150 and in, it's not a long process as all at all like it's super simple plus you have that website that i have i'll link it down below and then the, that's what you have to know you just have to know safe start inside inspection outside inspection the four maneuvers and then you drive on the road and just pay attention to the speed limits and know how to do a railroad stop and possibly like do a child pickup i didn't have to do that but they might have you like practice it or you know what is that word like act like you're doing it so yeah that's really it and just really like so my and then my biggest tip is just be confident like be confident what you're saying even if you have to memorize it that's like basically all i did memorize because we all know half the time when you do all these tests it's nothing of what it really is in the out in the real world so just get just get yourself through the test be confident driving the bus and you're gonna be good but yeah y'all so i'm excited i'm really proud of myself we about to get active on the road and my next activity is getting my motorcycle license so stay tuned for that um but yeah it's the active auntie and i'm out <laughs> about to be active <laughs> getting active <laughs> that was so corny <laughs> but yeah so yeah guys so i hope that helps if you have any questions maybe that i can answer leave them down below and let's keep being active in our lives and getting shit done for the greater good for the greater joy uh but yeah bye